These are little drones that are all flying in formation and, you know, doing little happy little things here. Here's something from apparently a Chinese source, not quite so benign or happy. Uh, Gary, if you can throw shell that other one up there. Um, this is I, I, uh, actually more of a question. Is this the future of drones where it literally could saturate an area in here? What is the risk of this kind of drone warfare showing up in the Russian and Ukraine war? Well, swarm applications have been discussed prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Swarm applications have been discussed basically from the beginning. Now that there are thousands of different types of UAVs in the air, it is a logical decision to connect them together in a swarm. There are, in fact, uh, swarm uh, research and development efforts taking place on both sides. It is a very concerning development because swarms can overwhelm air defenses. They can saturate air defenses. They can overwhelm any type of defense arrayed against them, especially if the swarm has hundreds or perhaps thousands of members. But we don't have that yet. It's very difficult to actually use that type of technology in a uh, Ukrainian environment that's steaming with all kinds of countermeasures, such as electronic warfare, such as kinetic technologies. We haven't seen the application of military drones like in this Chinese video. But suffice it to say that uh, lots of militaries and lots of countries are looking at this as a logical extension of the type of drone technologies they're witnessing right now. And uh, especially if that is combined with commercial type developments and successes in artificial intelligence technologies that can guide these swarms to targets and allow swarm members to communicate amongst each other, communicate back to uh, the uh, operators on the ground to select targets, to exchange data about the targets, that could be quite concerning. For now, this is still in the research and experimentation phase. Uh, we're seeing a lot of that in Hollywood, obviously, and uh, but uh, we're not yet seeing that in Ukraine, but probably both sides are concerned that there could be a potential technological breakthrough that would allow swarms to be activated and used. 